52 inch hand lawn, an indoor outdoor ceiling fan that's perfectly suited for large rooms and covered patios. In this video we will provide you with step by step instructions on how to install the fan and the different features that are included. A UPC number is noted on top of your motor assembly. If you need to contact customer service, this number will allow representatives to identify your specific fan model. Write it down and save it before beginning the installation. If you feel that you do not have enough electrical wiring knowledge or experience, have your fan installed by a licensed electrician. Begin by cutting power to the room from your breaker. With power safely turned off, check the ceiling junction box where you will be installing your fan. The box must be UL listed and acceptable for fan support of up to 35 pounds. The ceiling box will need a hot black or red wire, a neutral white wire, and a ground wire. Cap off any extra wires that will not be used. The ceiling box will need to be on the same circuit as the wall box. In the wall box, you will need a hot black wire, a ground wire, and the hot black or red wire that connects to the ceiling box. If the colors of the wires in your home are different, you will need to contact a licensed electrician. Installation requires the proper tools as well. A Phillips screwdriver, a flat blade screwdriver, a stepladder, a wire stripper, and electrical tape. Finally, you will need to check the parts list in your owner's manual and verify that you have all of the required fan parts. With your outlet box, wall box, tools, and ceiling fan parts ready, you can now begin the installation. The fan can be installed normally on a standard 8-foot ceiling. If you have a low ceiling, a flush mounting option is also available. To assemble the fan for standard 8-foot installation, begin by removing the canopy ring from the canopy by twisting it and sliding it down. Remove the two non-slotted mounting bracket screws from the canopy. Loosen the remaining two slotted screws. Turn the canopy counterclockwise to remove the mounting bracket. On top of the motor, remove the clevis pin and cotter pin. Then loosen the two collar set screws. On the hanger ball downrod assembly, take out the set screw on the hanger ball. Lower the ball off the downrod and remove the cross pin. Then remove the ground lead from the downrod. Feed the motor's wires through the downrod and thread it onto the motor's collar. Align the holes on the downrod with the holes on the collar, then insert the clevis pin. Secure it with the cotter pin. Tighten the two collar set screws. Slide the coupling cover, the canopy ring, and the canopy onto the downrod. Carefully reinstall the hanger ball and ground lead, being sure that the cross pin is in the correct position, the set screw is tightened, and the wires are not twisted. To make installation easier, cut the black, white, and blue wires about one foot from the downrod. Strip the wires about three quarters of an inch from the cut. At the ceiling, loosen the two screws from the ceiling outlet box. Pass the supply wires through the center hole in the mounting bracket. Slide the bracket into place over the screws and tighten them securely. Carefully use a ladder to lift the motor up towards the hanger bracket. Slide the hanger ball into the hanger bracket to hold the fan up. The tab on the mounting bracket will need to align with the groove in the hanger ball. Twist the motor until the ball falls into alignment. The motor will no longer be able to twist once it's aligned. If 
you are installing your fan using the flush mount option, you will also need to remove the bottom canopy cover from the canopy. Place the canopy ring on top of the motor, then remove every other one of the motor's collar mounting screws. After removing the three screws, place the canopy inside and align the holes on the canopy with the holes on the motor collar. Use the three removed collar screws to tighten the canopy to the motor. With the hanger bracket already installed, lift the fan up to the junction box. Use one of the holes in the canopy to temporarily hang the fan from the hanger bracket's hook. This will allow you to complete the electrical connections without having to hold it up. After hanging the fan up using either the standard or close to ceiling installation, you can complete the electrical connections. The receiver has four dip switches that can produce 16 unique combinations. It will only accept commands from remotes and wall controls with the same dip switch combination. Flip the switches to make a unique code on the receiver. Then check the side of the wall control and ensure the four dip switches on the wall control and the receiver are exactly the same. If the dip switches do not match, the fan will not function. With the dip switches on the remote and the receiver matching, bring the receiver up to the hanger bracket. Twist the ground wire from the hanger bracket and the hanger ball together, then wrap them around the copper wire in the ceiling box. Thread a wire nut over them and use electrical tape to keep the wires in place. Use the process to connect the remaining wires. Connect the black wire from the receiver labeled ACNL to the hot black wire from the box. Connect the white wire from the receiver labeled ACNN to the neutral white wire from the box. Connect the black wire from the receiver labeled 2 motor L to the black wire from the motor. Connect the white wire from the receiver labeled 2 motor N to the white wire from the motor. Connect the blue wire from the receiver to the blue wire from the motor. Once the connections are complete, inspect the box for exposed wires, then tuck the connections inside. Slide the receiver into the hanger bracket with the flat side facing up. If you are using the standard installation with the down rod, lift the canopy up to the mounting bracket and align the slots with the loose screws. Twist the canopy to hold it in place, then insert the two removed screws. Tighten all four screws. Lift and align the canopy ring over the screws on the canopy. Press and twist to lock the cover into place. If you are using the close to ceiling installation, lift the fan off the hook and push the canopy over the hanger bracket. Align the canopy openings with the screws and twist to hold the fan in place. Tighten all four screws and then secure the canopy ring. Bring the wall control up to the outlet box. Twist the black wire from the wall control labeled for fan to the hot black or red wire that connects to the ceiling box. Use a wire nut and electrical tape to secure the wires. Use the same process to connect the black wire from the wall control labeled to power supply to the black hot wire from the box. Connect the green and yellow wire from the wall control to the ground wire from the box as well. With all four connections complete, verify that there are no exposed or uncapped wires inside the box. Tuck the connections inside and secure the wall switch with the two wall switch screws. Attach the wall plate over the wall switch and secure it with the two wall plate screws. With the electrical connections complete, the rest of the fan body is ready to be installed. Bring the fan blade and blade support plate up to the motor assembly. Insert the blade through the slot in the housing and align the holes with the holes on the fan motor. Place the blade support plate over the blade with all three holes aligned and secure it with the blade attachment screws. Repeat the process for the remaining blades.
Underneath the fan, remove one of the screws from the mounting plate and loosen the remaining two screws. Bring the light kit mounting plate up to the mounting ring and align the keyholes with the loose screws. Turn the plate to hold it in place. Tighten the remaining screw and the two loosened screws to secure it. Remove one of the screws from the light kit mounting plate and loosen the other two. Bring the LED light kit up to the fan and connect the two pin wire connectors. Align the keyholes on the light kit with the loose screws on the mounting plate. Then turn to hold it in place. Tighten the removed screw and the two loosened screws to secure it. Raise the glass shade up to the LED light kit and secure it to the fan by turning it clockwise until snug. Once completed, restore power to the room from the breaker. The installation is complete and the fan is now ready to operate. The wall control manages the fan speed and the light functions. High sets the fan to high speed. Medium sets the fan to medium speed. The low button sets the fan to low speed. And the fan off button turns the fan off. The light button turns the LED light on or off. Holding the light button will activate the dimming function on the LED light kit. Hold the button to cycle through the different brightness settings. The off-on slide button controls power to all components of the fan. Sliding the switch to the off position will turn off both the fan rotation and the LED light kit. On top of the motor is the reverse switch. The reverse switch can be moved to change the direction of the fan rotation for warm weather or cool weather. For warm weather, the fan will spin counterclockwise and push air downward to create a cooling effect. For cool weather, the fan will spin clockwise and cycle warm air off the ceiling. Note that the fan should be stopped before changing the direction of the blade rotation. Congratulations! Your hand-on ceiling fan is now ready to use. If you have any questions or if you need over-the-phone assistance, please call the service number in your owner's manual. Customer service representatives will be happy to assist you. Thank you for watching!